Welcome guys to Three Musketeer Gamers at a Glance series and this week it is just me and Aaron and we are taking a look at FIFA 16. Now a few weeks ago, hopefully you guys have probably watched our other video on Pro Evolution Soccer 2016 where uh, we were talking about just how much that game has actually progressed during the past few years. And, and we did mention FIFA within that video as well. Now, for me personally, um, although FIFA graphically is the superior football game, I mentioned in the Pro Evolution Soccer video that there is just not enough change for me personally for game to actually for it to be worth the amount of money that it is still worth it is still feels like just last year's game with a bit of a visual change yeah. and some you know a couple more teams and stuff like that it's just not enough of a change for me yeah I um, uh, be when be just before this game came out I spent a couple of months playing uh, FIFA 15 um, and Coming into it, I feel that there is uh, personally a uh, better, con you know, it feels uh, smoother control wise. Um, I, I, I'm just a lot happier with the way it all handles. Um, I, 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 I can't explain it. it. There's just something about it that I prefer over Pez. Um, this is my preferred game. Um, it always has been, um, because I grew up with FIFA games back in PS1, um, and moved up with them. Um, I mean, I didn't play them every year, I didn't get them every year, but whenever I got bored and I wanted to play a, a football game, it was always FIFA. Um, it's only been in the last couple of years uh, that I've been exposed to PES that... You know, I've, I've even looked at any other football games. Uh, but no, this is mine, uh, so hopefully I'll have the advantage uh, because this is my preferred game. The thing that I, I think personally is FIFA, at the minute EA, they look at adding more aesthetical improvements to the game. So this year, um, they've added the Bundesliga um, license so when you if you do a career mode or anything like that with Bundesliga teams or you're playing kickoff mode with Bundesliga teams you'll get those aesthetics on the screen so you'll get the scoreboards and the uh, the player names just like you did last year and also this year with Barclays Premier League um, they've also focused um, a lot on like just small changes to the career mode for instance the introduction of the preseason tournaments this year is don't get me wrong it's a fantastic addition it really is it's a brilliant addition and also the um, the addition of unlimited substitutions in career mode as well for preseason that gives you a chance to fully try out your squad and you know find the players that are working for you now although these are changes that we've been asking for for the past god knows how many years and the brilliant changes to bring into the game now considering that the gameplay um, hasn't changed too much they just keep you know the same, same gameplay, and don't get me wrong, it works. The gameplay is absolutely fine. When you feel like you're playing the same game year in, year out, you start to question as to whether it's actually worth the amount of money we are actually pay, paying for games at the minute. Especially when EA um, have their microtransactions as well for, you know, stuff like Ultimate Team um, and the cards, which I personally I have no interest in. Whatsoever. This this year they seem to be um, they seem to have focused the game more around that. Every year it's getting more and more based around that, um, and that's all I ever hear people going on about is oh let's, let's play the ultimate. And it's like and I, I don't understand it. You know I don't understand football to that extent. I could build my own team. So it's 
Personally, I think they need to focus more on more more on the single player um, and the. I don't know. There's I, there's something that I, I I mean I prefer um, to play as a player as well. I don't I don't play as a team very often. Um, I'd like them to focus more on that, like put put in, you know put like a small interview into it or something. Just put a bit more role playing into the player aspect, rather you know rather than just going from game to game hoping you get you know picked and all that. Um, I like the training uh, mechanics that they brought into the career mode this year. Um, I feel a bit more engaged with it and a bit more involved but even then um, half the time I just simulate them um, just to get my stats up and I'd like more just more role playing with the player aspect what do you think um, obviously looking at that from um, just a personal point of view and obviously for when it comes to opinions and that these are going to be personal point of views but I can also see it from EA's point of view that Ultimate Team is the mode that brings in the most money uh, multiplayer mode and online mode are the modes that most people you know most players are interested in um, nowadays um, but you can't, for me personally, too many games now are just looking at solely focusing on the multiplayer mode, and very, very few games are focusing on single player. And it's a shame because the games that are focused on single player at the moment, games such as Far Cry, the Batman, the Batman Arkham series, um, obviously games that have just come out, I mean... We've got WWE, which still has a heavy focus on single player, and yeah. um, with the universe mode and oh, with the career mode, they are still heavily focused on single player. Um, but then you still got games like FIFA that come out, um, Pro Evo. You know, not it's not. I'm not going to give that all credit. That is beginning to become more focused on multiplayer mode. Um, you've got games like Call of Duty that are coming out. They're just going to be focused on the multiplayer mode, and it feels like. Although multiplayer mode is great, games are losing that single player aspect, which for me personally, again, personal opinion, I think that's only going to be bad for the video games industry, oh. personally. Oh yeah, and the thing is, most of the multiplayer isn't just, uh, it's not just that they're focusing more on multiplayer. They're not giving local multiplayer as much of a look in. I mean, there's certain games out there when you when you look at them, local multiplayer just did spare off them completely. Yeah. I mean, Formula One always used to have multiplayer in it, uh, split screen as well. It's not in there anymore. But, and I'm like, what? 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 A racing game was always based around you know going up against your friends, you know having a good. You know, having a good race in the same room. Now I've got to get online. I've got to worry about lag. Um, and I've got to worry about, you know, people just messing around, you know, and just running into you on the first corner. And that takes the, the fun out of it. Because you're, you're going up against people that you don't know and can't trust to play fair. Now, don't get us wrong, we're not saying, like, um, multiplayer, online multiplayer should be taken completely out of games, because it shouldn't. There are, you know, it can be fun from time to time, but for us, you can't take local multiplayer out and replace it with online multiplayer. You've got to have a selection of both, because nothing can beat that feeling when you get just get some friends around or something yep. like that and you get the local multiplayer up and you know it takes you back to times when you were younger and when you were kids and you did go you used to go around each other houses and you go oh you know, let's put FIFA on and it was the old PS2 and you had to get that multi port in order to play with four people yeah oh yeah I remember um it's you know and, and yeah, that that is that is my main problem with FIFA. Um, you know, the gameplay for me it doesn't change change too much. You question whether you're playing the same game each year with just a little design update. Um, I mean, 
They say each year that they're adding certain aspects, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, this year I have noticed with the precision passing, um, the, you know, using that, you know, you can hold R1 and press X to pass with purpose, and, you know, I have noticed that, it's a nice little addition, but that's, you know, it's not something that's changing the game too much. Mm. I like the fact that they've introduced the, uh, the women's international teams, I mean, I'm prefer if they had the um, club teams as well but you know small steps um, it it's still a good idea it's still a great idea to, in to introduce it and it helps publicize the um, women's football um, in uh, you know just in general in general yeah it's it's fantastic. I mean, you know, since the women's uh, England women team did well in the women's World Cup, you know, it's been a fantastic opportunity to you know get more women and girls into football and just raise the profile of that sport slightly. Which, you know, that can only be good. It just makes it more equal and yeah. brings that side of things, you know, into the spotlight. You know, being able to play. Um, on FIFA with you know the female national teams, it does. You know, even though don't get me wrong, the gameplay for me personally doesn't feel any different. Oh, no, it, it shouldn't do. You know, football's football. Yeah, of course. But um, it's just nice to have that little aesthetic difference um, to, to 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 the game. Um, and I've only actually, despite how much I. Uh, wanted this game to test that out. I played it once and kind of, kind of like I lost to Brazil in the quarterfinals. Um, <laughs> so I've not gone back to it, but it, I do like it. Um, and it's nice to see that EA are willing to allow cha uh, changes that could have been, you know, it, it was a. It, some people say it was a risk. Some people complained dramatically about it, but, you know. Uh, it's nice to see companies as big as EA taking risks like that, and I hope that it comes back next year with the club teams. Yeah, with even more. Even more. Yeah. Um, it's, it will bring them a whole new fan base, whole new database, you know, if they were to have a women's side of the manager mode or the career mode. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if they had them running side by side, so, you know, maybe you could actually... You know, manage a women's team at some point. Exactly, in I was, your career mode. That, that's what disappointed me. That you could only like, you you couldn't make a player for the women's team. Uh, you you couldn't manage one of their teams. You, you could just play as them in a tournament. Um, but like I say, small steps. Um, they introduce something new. They'll make it bigger next year. They've got you know they can't just give oh. us everything at once. At least we hope they'll make well, it. Yeah, next we'll, year. Well, yeah, we we hope. Um, and I hope Pez takes a you know a leaf out of their book as well and look into it. You know we may be looking years down the line, but because that's what Pez currently are doing, uh, they they are playing catch up to FIFA. Of course, yeah, but that's that's worked well in Pez's favour for me personally this year because. You know, when you play Pro Evolution Soccer 2016 this year, you can actually see and feel the difference between this year's game and last year's oh, yeah. game. Because, yeah, they are playing that, you go, go, know, go, go, go. they are playing that, you know, that catch-up, but, um, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Mm. Peter you know, because they're trying to make the game feel more like it was back in the PlayStation 2 era when Pro Evolution had that crown over FIFA. And, you know, FIFA, don't get me wrong, FIFA have had that crown back since PlayStation 3 and they've held on tight because Pro Evolution Soccer did fall yeah. away a great distance. Um, and obviously... FIFA have all the license. I mean, this year you've got the additions of Orlando City and New York City hey. in the uh, uh, you know Major League Soccer. Yep. And if people didn't already know, that's who I'm playing as, New York City. Way. I've been looking forward to that uh, team coming into it this year, May uh, mainly because um, it's it's a sister team to City, which is my home team um, favorite. 
Um, so it was nice to see them, you know, what would you call it? Uh, uh, expand, you know, expand the club and, you know, introduce their sort of ways in other countries as well. Um, so, yeah, I... I I, I was looking forward to this, and that's what my player is currently playing as in the career mode. Can they hang on to this one goal lead? So, uh, come on. Yeah, statistically, City should be all over me at this point. Just try and hold what you have. What do you think? Um, where, where that's concerned. For me personally, um... I think it's great you're seeing new leagues and new teams um, being added on, especially with Major League Soccer, because it just goes to show how much football or soccer is, you know, gaining yeah, um, status within the US. Mm. Um, obviously, the US women's team is one of the best women's national teams in, in football. Um, the American male football team is um, slowly getting up there as well. Um, and oh, don't get me wrong, it's the biggest teams in football are always going to be in Europe. You like to you like yeah. the BBVA, Barclays Premier League, Bundesliga, you know, Liga, Serie A. They're always going to be the biggest leagues in football. Um, but it's nice to hear more about football teams in other countries now um, that it is gaining recognition yeah um, I mean the reason I wanted to play as these this year is because when I play as either a manager or a player um, I like to go for the American teams because it's I feel like everyone goes for you know their favorite team if it, you know from their from the home I always like to play something different be different from everyone else and I played as uh, in FIFA 15 I played as New York Red Bulls and then when I heard that hang on a sec my favorite uh, my favorite club um, in the England in the Premier League was having a sister team um, in yeah, the MLS talk to the, not a chance could that be any luck? The fact that I've just struck the pole slash bar three times in a row right at the end of that match. <laughs> oh, dear me. Only in a video between us two oh, yeah. could that happen. Yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there at the end of the match. Um, that was just a quick match so that we could you know, take a quick glance at what we think of, um, of the game this year. Um, our opinions on just certain things to do with football. Um, if you liked the video, which hopefully you did, um, you know, leave us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, uh, follow our social media, all the links are in the description do box down below, and if you keep your eyes peeled for next week guys, we're actually going to be doing a continuation of our Jules series next week, where I will be taking on this guy in an official Jules match. Oh yeah. Where we are fighting for an early lead at the top of the table because oh, yeah, Craig is playing catch up. So if you tune in for that, guys, from all of us here at Three Hundred Gamers, we'll bid you adieu and goodbye.